My question is, over the last three years, my squad has decreased. So I'm asking you for technical, if something's off, like instead of just staying the same, is it because I'm getting old? No, or, fuck no, or, fuck or, no. No, man. Shit, no, or, man. Because my technique is just so whacked. No, I mean, I'll, I'll, guarantee, me, but... I'll guarantee your technique probably sucks. Well, that's what, that's what I need you to yeah, tell me. Yeah. Can I move it? Okay, rest a minute. That first rep was a mess. Go. Up. Boom. Good. Yeah, who else wanted to squat? Yeah? Cool. Well, here's, here's what's going on here. Go ahead and get in a squat stance and sit back. Now you know the bench is there, so you're going to fall, okay? But just keep sitting back as you squat. So back, 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 back. Go ahead and let it go. Boom. Right there he falls because the hamstrings aren't strong enough to stabilize the position. So we got to build your hamstrings up. Okay. All right, so. In terms of mobility or strength? Strength. Okay. Strength. That's not a mobility thing there. No? Um, no, I'll show you. Sit down. Okay. Just sit down. Okay, bring your feet out in front of you. No, 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 just like you would squat. So okay. bring them back just a little bit. Sit forward. Okay. Arch your back real hard. Right, lean forward a little bit more, right there. Now from this position here, stand up. See, that's strength. Okay. If it was mobility, you wouldn't be able to get up. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, so we have to build the hamstrings up, which is a, it's a secondary issue. Okay. But you still have to be able to squat. Let's try, put the blue plate on the bench. Okay, now same stance, everything. Yeah. Sit down on there. Sit back a little bit more. Okay, come up. Now sit down again, just Okay, sit down again. See, now you're a little bit more comfortable back. Good. Okay. That's a workable range of motion I'm comfortable working with. It's still not legally, you know, for a meet, it's still not gonna pass, right? Yeah. But it's, it's go ahead and squat down again. Okay. Hold it right there. Okay, so here's where you are, whatever. So, hold that there, dude. I mean, the bench is probably legally parallel. Okay. You know, so it's not too bad. But what I would, I wouldn't squat without a box. Okay. You know, I wouldn't free squat yep. yet until you can get down here because you're going to need something okay. to work as a gauge. Okay. To be able to know, because your weight's not going to be so much the goal as getting the range of motion that you need. Because okay. that's going to build, forget about competing and all the other stuff. I don't even know if that's an aspiration of yours or not. Yeah. All right. But being able to squat to parallel is something that you told me that you wanted to be able to, that your squat's a mess and you can't hit depth yep. and so forth. Yep. So the, the only goal here is to be able to squat to depth. Okay. So weight's not an issue. We'll work up a little bit, see what the weight's going to do, because it's going to definitely help you get down. Yeah. But whatever the weight's going to be, you'll run it for three weeks or so. I'll tell you what to do after that. But let's go ahead and scoot the, because um, we're going to, I don't want you to walk it out. So we're going to take it out of the monolift. Okay. Um, I assume that you've used the monolift, right? I, I okay. Before, okay. Yeah. All right. So let's move this plate up because, see, you're going to be up under here. Right. So we have to be able to sit on the plate. So move that mm -hmm. forward. Go ahead and put the bar on your back and let's just see. Go ahead and just take the bar out. I'll undo the rack. Watch your feet though, because we're gonna flip that bench around after this set. Okay. All right, stand up. Go. Okay, go. Okay, sit back a little, go up, stand up. All right, just do a few reps just to warm up. Okay. Mine. You want me to go now? Yeah. What, what my issue is to me, i um, got a competition May 19th. I'll be in the Masters. I'll be competing at 54 years old, so I have a, a good ratio. But my question is, over the last three years, my squad has decreased. So I'm asking you for technical. If something's off, like instead of just staying the same, is it because I'm getting old? No, or fuck no. Because my technique is just so whacked. No, I mean, I'll, I'll guarantee. 
I'll guarantee your technique probably sucks. Well, that's what, that's what I need you to yeah, tell me. Yeah, step forward a little bit, um, and then just squat down to the bench. Don't hit the uh, plate? No, step forward a little bit more even. Uh -huh. All right, so but I want to see your squat. I want to see what your squat looks like. Like that? That's how you squat with a bar? Okay, do you compete with wraps, sleeves? So yeah, how do you compete? Just knee sleeves? Yeah. Okay, squat down again. Okay, when I'm looking at, you know how your knees come forward when you squat? There's a difference between geared, wrapped, and raw. And the only reason I've come up with this difference is I grew up in a generation where there was no raw. So it was always a hard rule that the, the knee had to stay in line with the heel and everything shifted back. Kind of what I'm trying to do for you, but I'm trying to do it for you be, to build hamstring strength. From a competitive standpoint, what I've seen over the years, looking at all time world records, you know, the lifters at the top of the heap. So I don't like watch Instagram videos of people who suck. I watch the Instagram videos of people who are really, really good to find the consistencies. What I've seen is if they're just wrap only, the knee seems to be about mid foot. Okay. All right, if it's knee sleeves, neoprene, or what these yeah, are, yours. yeah, they are, it, it can go to the toe, but really, some people will go over the toe, but the toe's about as much as I'm gonna see it. He's, go ahead and squat down again, face the wall. If you look at his knees, they're over the toe. Yeah. Okay, so I want him sitting back a little bit more because he's not an all-time world record holder. So what, what I'm looking at here is the consistency seems to be at the toe, all right? No way am I gonna move him to midfoot because it's gonna be way too much of a shift. I'm not gonna put him all the way back, knee to heel, okay? And I think some of the reason for this change over a period of time is stances have come in with the squat, which becomes more of a quad dominant thing. Heels have come into play with squat, which makes it more of a quad dominant thing. I do think that raw squatters can squat wider and sit back, just like the old gear guys, but I'm not gonna sit here and beat my head against the wall. I'm gonna try to get the fastest results that I can get. So this time, I think a lot of this has to deal with the fact that your feet are moving kind of all over the place, mm -hmm. and so is his, and anybody else who gets in here is probably gonna do the same thing. So. We will do that when we start to get under the bar. But for now, what I want you to try to do is to face the wall and just sit back. I want you to, when you start the squat, I want you to start just with that motion here first. Okay. Lead right. with the hips, then bend your knees. That's the only change I want you to do. Okay. So get your start position. Okay. Yeah, so stand back up again. So lead with the hips, then the knees. Okay. No, tilt your hips, then the knees. All right, stop. No, no, come up again. Come up again. Okay, stand there like you're squatting. Look at the wall, not me. See, he's a visual learner, so I have to keep this in mind when I'm working with him, too. That's why he keeps looking at me. That's called a clue. When somebody's a visual learner, I need to change my terminology and tell him things like, picture, you, picture yourself pushing your hips back first and then squat. So picture your hips tilting and then go. Stop. Now you see his knees are right over his toes. So just that little shift was enough to be able to do it. Come back up again. All right, picture the hips first, the knees up. And you also see that when I started saying picture of this, picture of this, he's no longer looking at me. Anyhow, stupid tricks. Okay, they're like pet tricks, powerlifting pet tricks. Okay, that's fine, because we're gonna get you to start using a bar Same here in a minute. Mario's yeah, who else wanted to squat? No, no, cool, yeah? Okay, so go and come up, and then I just want to see how you normally squat. Look forward. <laughs> Best squat in the house. Look at that. Okay. Um, step away. Let me see you do the same thing, but without the bench. So I want to see your depth a little bit better. Okay, so still the feet too. Okay, go a little bit lower. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and go back here. We'll start rotating everybody through with the bar. 
and try to fix what we can fix. This is all pretty easy stuff to fix. But here's what the box does. It's, while I'm very biased to the box squat, right now I'm trying to teach you guys how to fix your squat. So, for example, step out here real quick. I know I'm gonna have to work with all you on how to ascend out of the bottom of the squat. So get in a squat stance, <clears throat> squat to your bottom for me. Okay, a little bit lower. So see, I can't even get him there to even work on it. Okay, now from this position here, I want you to arch your back real hard. All right, bring your hands back like you're gonna squat. Arch your back harder, get your weight back on your heels. See how he's about ready to die? Okay, stand up, stand up. All right, now if I can have somebody on a box while I'm trying to make these corrections, it takes some of that load off. So say it's still 30% load on your body, but 60% of it came into the box. I can make these technical corrections without having to have the person at the bottom thinking, oh my God, is it, when's he gonna tell me to come up? You see what I'm saying? So from a teaching tool, the box squat, regardless of what you think about it from a training perspective, can't be beat because go sit on, go, go over here again. Okay, forget the bar, but just let's turn this way. Okay, and then sit back onto the plate. Okay, so squat, sit back onto the plate, stop. Now from here, I want you to arch your back like this. Okay, and then squat in a straight line. Now, did at any point in time, do you feel like you do when you're over here? Not at all. You see the sand? So there I was able to put him in a proper squat position like that and get him to come back up just like that. So now, will he eventually graduate off of the box if he wants to? Yes. If not, hey, squat on it forever. I do. Um, but if you're going to compete, obviously the box won't be there. But that's why, you know, as I like to explain my whys yep. so sense. people understand a little bit better. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and get under the bar and we'll start doing some work. So do try to get into your squat stance. Okay, up. Squat back, sit back. Stop. Okay, now from here, all I want you to do is pull your chest up. Stop right here. Okay, you know what a Smith machine is, right? Yes. I want you to squat up like you're on a Smith machine. Okay. Straight line, boom. When you watch a squat, do it again. Sit down, stop. You wanna watch it from the side because there's a few things going on. First thing is, you see how the bar is crooked. See if I do this? Yeah, okay, got it. Okay, so that's the, whoop, there we go again. All right, so something's going on there. We gotta figure out what the hell that is, right? Okay, but aside from that, now squat like you're on a Smith machine. Do one more rep, sit down. You want this bar to travel in a straight line when you come up. Up, boom, see that was a straight line. Okay, squat down again. Now this time, don't act like a Smith machine. Just like lean forward like you squatted before. See what happens? And when, you, when you see that little forward lean, that's when that bar falls forward and you get stuck. Okay, go ahead and rack it. We need to figure out what's going on with your, uh, oh, that was me. Just set it down in there. You're good, you're good. Um, you ever have shoulder surgery, any surgeries I don't know about? No. Never had All right. I gotta figure this crooked shit out. Um, all right, both of you guys have the same, all of you have the same problem with your feet. So what I want you to do is just get in your squat stance and take your toes and kind of like spread them out like that real quick. All right, and then try to grab the floor with your toes. Okay, and bring your heels out a little bit. Okay, spread real hard and then grab, okay. All right, now, this time I want you to push out on, the, on your shoes, spread your toes, grab the floor, and then just try to push your hips back, see what happens. Okay, don't let your toes come up. You gotta grab them, grab the floor. You know, think of a cheetah. You know how a cheetah hits the ground, grabs, rips. Think, your feet hit the ground, then come up. That's rooting your feet. Okay, if your feet are doing any of this stuff here when you're squatting, when you squat, it's a transfer of force from the floor to the bar. So anything that loses that transfer of force is pounds being taken away from the bar, but it's also creating 
an environment for, some, for something to get hurt. Okay, so when that, everything's got to start from the floor up. So that's got to be locked in so it doesn't move. The other part is the hand's got to be locked into the bar. So the hands, the feet are where the squat starts because that creates like a wedge. You know, you want to wedge yourself under the bar. Sometimes you'll hear people, they'll, they'll write about, you got to wedge yourself under the bar. So you're wedged underneath there because that creates that environment for that better transfer of force. Now, when people talk about torso work, lower back work, ab work, and the importance of that, is if we were to remove this and replace it with a big marshmallow, and he was to squat up through, what's gonna to happen to that transfer of force? It's gonna go all through there, okay? And I don't care if somebody's, you know, 130 pounds with shredded abs or 400 pounds and falling all over the place. It makes no difference. It's what's underneath there, all right? So now if you took that marshmallow out and put a rock in there, what's gonna happen? All right, so a lot of the, what you'll hear with the squatting is bracing, breathing. You know, all these are kind of popular things that everybody's saying the same thing in different ways. So what I try to get people to do is to learn how to breathe through their nose. Like, just real quick, take, a, take the biggest breath you can. Leave your arms to your side and take a deep breath. Okay, your shoulders came up, your shoulders came up, hers didn't. She, she's the only one that passed. And here, think about this for a minute, okay? If you got a bar on your back, yes. right, and you start to strain, and you got all the air in your chest, okay. and you strain, what happens when you strain? You start to breathe through. You know, you, let, you exhale air. Yes. If that air is what's keeping your chest up and you let it out, what's going to happen? Chest goes down. Chest goes down. Where's the bar go? Down. Forward. Down. Boom. Down. You miss. If you pull into your belly, you're a belly breather as she is then chest doesn't fall. Okay, so there's a couple ways you can do that. For now, just focus on trying to breathe all the air into your belly. All right, so when you get under the bar, it's, you know, into your torso. You know, that's the easiest way to do it. You can get more air if you breathe through your nose. Sometimes it's more effective if you breathe through your nose into your belly. But just be aware that this is where the air wants to go. So when you're reading stuff or you're hearing different videos, some people will say you need to brace better, you need to bring the sternum closer to the pelvis. Other people will say you need to breathe into your lower back. Other ones will say you need to breathe through your nose first, then your mouth. Other ones are gonna say you gotta push your stomach against the belt, push your stomach against the sides, you know, make sure your lower back. There's, it's so confusing, but everybody's saying the same damn thing. Just breathe as much air into your torso as you can and keep it tight. All right, so if you know that, you're gold. The belt is an aid that helps to teach this. So if you have a belt, what I tell people to do when they're just learning it, you don't need to do this, is to put it on one notch loose and then make it tight. So you get, breathe in, make it tight. Um, so with that in mind, I'm gonna cue your feet. All right, so I'm gonna tell you to spread your toes. So when I say spread your toes, that means grip the floor. Okay, when I tell you to breathe, that's breathing into your, into your stomach, okay? Um, the reason I'm doing is this is because when you squat, as I told you earlier, I can sit here and say rah, 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 get it, get it, get it, and all this other kind of stuff, and that doesn't do a damn thing. All right, if I tell you, you know, toes, you know, air, or belly, or whatever it's gonna be, you know exactly what I mean, and you're gonna do that. Okay, so we'll go through again, and now I'm going to start to cue it a little bit more. So go ahead and go. Okay, okay make sure your feet are set. The other thing I really want you to do, yeah. I want you to look and make sure your feet are even. I think that's the problem. I think your left foot is back further than your right one. So step it forward, make sure it's even. You might even, because it was twisting your back, you might even want to draw marks on the floor if you have to. Okay. Okay, we'll see what happens here, but just make sure it's even. Okay, I want you to pull air in your belly. Okay, up. Toes. Squat. Up. Okay, now you know where the box is, so just squat back to the box. You're not going to fall to the floor. Belly. Ah, come back up again. I wasn't paying attention. Feet. Feet. Belly. Go. Up. 
Okay, feet, belly, squat, stop. Okay, remember here? Right, right, just right there. Okay, straight line up, boom. Okay, feet, belly, go. Straight line, boom. One more time to reinforce it. You tell him. Watch his feet. Feet, belly, squat. Stop, straight line. Okay, now you tell him. Okay, feet. Belly, squat, back, back, up, straight up. There you go. Good. Okay. Hold on. I got you. You good? You good? Just go ahead. Yeah. Just slide it back. Just slide it back. All right. All I want you to do here is I want you to just do a few reps. Okay. So I'm not going to say anything. I, I. You still need to get warmed up a little bit. All right. A minute. That first rep was a mess. It got better after that. The bad part about that is you only need to do one in a yeah, minute. Yeah, that's where maybe the issue is, right? Okay. I wanted to see if it was you getting warmed up. Do another set real quick. Do you normally walk out? Yes. Okay. Always. Okay, let's do this. Go ahead and stand back up again. Let's push that bench back. Just push it right back against the wall. Okay, I still want you to, I want you to walk out, okay? okay? So just realize that bench is right there. You should be cool. You should be, once you get under the bar, you should be cool. But I do want you to walk it out. I still need the more of a narrow stance yeah. too when there's no bench. Yeah, well the, you'll be in front of the bench. So just two tiny steps. So you should be able to get your stance where you need it. Okay. Tiny steps, tiny step, tiny step. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay again. Okay again. Okay, okay. Rack it. Get your breath, and then we'll start correcting some things. It's not too bad. All I want you to really do is I'm still going to cue you on the feet, all right, because we're still having issues there. I want to cue you on the belly, but I want that hip. I want the hips to what federation do you compete in? Uh, May is RPS, and then USPA is in July. So it's not the USAPL? Uh, correct, yeah. Okay, okay. No problem. That's the same thing Mario says. You just go straight down when we worked last year. Yes, yeah, so but it's all I'm, it's just, I'm, I'm gonna tell you to hold, 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 then I'm gonna say hips. And all I want you to do, you're starting actually like this, almost, wait, like, here would be like, I would have issues with it just here. Okay. Yeah. All right, here's where I really want it, but you're like here for some freaking reason. So I'm yeah, gonna try to, yeah, I'm gonna try to overcorrect it. Okay. So when I say hips, it's just, that's all I want is that pelvic tilt. That's, I don't even want you to bend your knees. So my butt's going back. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to say hips, and all you're going to do is boom. That's it. All right. all right? And then from there, I'm going to say squat. Then you're going to squat. Okay? All right. Okay. Your walkout's clean. Go ahead. Okay. Root your feet. So feet, hips, nope, I didn't want you to squat, just your hips, come back up. Feet, hips, squat, good, up. Again, hips, squat, stop. Okay, now from here, same thing, so I, right there, and now when you come up, act like you're on a Smith machine, straight line, there, hips, Squat, straight line, good. 
Still get a little bit of deviation forward. So I want you to root your feet. I want you to grab harder and don't let go, okay? Pull air in your abs, okay? Hips, squat, straight line. There you go, perfect. Reinforce it, do it again. Feet, hips, go. Up, boom, good. So do a few reps to warm up, I won't say anything. You look at her feet. Just keep doing a couple more reps. Watch your feet, watch your knees. Remember when I was talking about knee position and feet? So if you're ever watching a squat, watch from the floor up. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Do one more. See where the knees are? Okay, go ahead, bring it forward. You guys need hamstrings. Crazy. So it's the same thing with all three of us. Hamstrings need strengthening. Oh yeah. Do you do RDLs? I do, yeah. yeah. Just maybe not enough. You stiff leg deadlifts, RDLs? RDLs and SDLs. I probably do more SDLs than RDLs. Yeah. Okay. Okay, RDLs, SDLs. Well, both of them. So I'm going to show you a version of an RDL just to help you guys out. Okay, let's go ahead and go. Okay, go ahead and walk it out, set it up. Back. Yeah, yeah, even bar. Um, do me a favor, can you back squat or just, oh, I don't think you're going to fall over, but I just, I'm going to feel more comfortable here because this, all right, grab the floor. No, no, you don't need to be like, just be ready to get the, okay, grab the floor, stand tall, breathe into your stomach. Okay, sit back more when you sit down, lead with your butt. Keep that bar straight. Up. Okay, I need you to sit back more, push your knees out. If you can't go all the way down, that's fine. Just go to where it feels good, then come back up. Okay. Push the knees out real hard. Root your feet. There, now go. Up, okay. Squeeze, tight, feet. Go. Up. Okay, I'm calling her up when her toes begin, or her knee begins to get to her toe level. Okay. Okay? But each rep, so I try to sit back a little bit more this time, so your knees, act like your knees are going to stay right in top of your heels. All right? It, they won't, but just act like it. Okay? Go. And he's right there if you feel like you're going to fall back. Back more, back more. Good. Up. Okay, this time root your feet, and then act like you're sitting on the toilet. All right, so pull the head up. Right down to the john. There you go, do it again. Let's sit back a little bit more. That toilet's back there and further. It's way back, there, good. Feet, air. Good, okay. Rack, feel a little different? You're gonna have to find um, something for her, because that's way too high. Yeah. Something for her to sit on. Yeah, that's like stronger a that's stronger than a milk crate. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's, we have a box out there. Oh, you have a box? A shorter box. one, yeah. Okay. I knew the box you were asking for for most of us wasn't gonna work, but there's another one out there. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. That's what she'll need, but the same thing's here, okay. right? For the squatting, all you guys, it's, it's the same. It's, we all, we all sit and we all have office jobs. Yeah. That might be yeah. part of the reason That's why. Right. The, the, yeah. the well, the other thing too is when, even though you don't, I, know, I don't know how this happens, but even though you guys may not train together, yeah. I see the same issues in the same gyms. Okay. So I can go to another gym and everybody's going to have their shoulders forward. Yep. You know, it's just, it's like a contagious thing that happens within yep. the walls. But it's a good thing because you're aware and it's all the same thing. Okay. Feet, air, hip. 
let the cards fall where they will there. Just don't force the depth okay. until everything's ready to go. Ooh,